Hey guys, welcome to the vault. Um, we are back with another episode of Monday Morning Crits. Um, we got Leon and Jason here, um, John from Ink Park, as always, and a really special guest. Um, I don't know if he's on the bottom window for you guys, but he's on the bottom window for me. So I'm going to introduce him that way. TJ, aka Forty Swords, um, aka um, the Shams Master. So uh, he's here to join us. Um, John's going to be leading the the charge and, and kind of taking us through. Um, hope you guys enjoy. John, take it away. What's up, everybody? We have another week of crits. We have a special guest, TJ, the Swords, 40 I'm so, Swords. I'm proud before, to be here. I'm proud to be here. Uh, Thanks, before man. we get started, though, John. Um, yes, sir. You may not want to call on Leon too much because he's just going to be infatuated with TJ. <laughs> and then he designs he does that. He does and have and any words of wisdom that he imparts. So uh, he may be just flustered tonight. I'm just giving you a forewarning. That no, it's just... We're on the same wavelength, me and Leon. Yeah. We know what's going yeah. on. Yeah, we know, every we know. hat will be critiqued based on the criteria of Shams. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we know. We know he has a little bit of an art man oh crush God. going on here, so we're yeah. good. I, I'm sure right. he picked up the new one. So, oh hell yeah, he, he, yeah. Can, he, he can, I should have doubled like, up. I fast enough. Yeah, I should have. I should put that one on today. I have it right now. Um, yeah. All right. So here we go. We got Jay Matz. And we got mm -hmm. the A-10. So the A-10 is one of my favorite planes. Um, mm -hmm. The Flying Warthog, the Tank Buster. And so I guess it's kind of his rendition of, of the Warthog. So let's see. Let's go with uh, Jason. What do you think of this one? Um, you know, actually, I, I kind of like it. Um, yeah, the Warthog is a, a badass machine, man. The vertical takeoff and landing and everything is, is, is kick-ass. Um, I, I, I like how he incorporated it. I mean, um, you can really see the, the warthog and it takes, still maintains the shape of the plane. Um, so he didn't, uh, he didn't uh, deviate too much from that. Color choices are, are not bad. Um, yeah, give me, give me a little hearty, hearty smile on this thing. All right, cool, cool. How about you, Leon? Uh, I like this one. Um, my, my, I guess, concern would be it's not enough plane too much hog maybe i would have played with it a little bit more uh face is real cool um it's got that old like uh fighter jet um style thing i really like that um but yeah i, I think you know it's just kind of like a, <laughs> a half war dog half I, I i know that's what it is and whatever um but i i don't know maybe i would have opted to go a little bit more plane um in this one but it's still it's still a fun one uh, maybe I would have threw in like a navy button on top, give it a little homing beacon. But mm -hmm. other than that, it's a it's a solid solid hat. All right, cool, cool. You can do the heart emojis. How about you, TJ? What do you think? I like this one. Um, I think it's got enough plane. I think it's got enough warthog going. I think it's got a good mix. I like the face. I like how it was handled. Um, if I was gonna nitpick something, I would probably say the front legs. They look like. I'm thinking if it was more of like jumping forward, like in that tuck those, tuck the gotcha. feet up under a la from uh, Buffalo Bills type logo ish. Mm -hmm. I think that that would probably be a better shape for it and it would make it that much more stronger. But I like this, the colors, the colors work. I don't know if the, I like the pig in the back um, on the tail fin. I don't know if it would read in, in thread though. Mm -hmm. um it's pretty small so you might need to just figure something else out um but yeah. i like it. i like it yeah the only man you know you guys know i love planes and i do a lot of different types of planes when it comes to this stuff i i don't i, I would just do the face in the front of the plane and then because I, I think he did the face really good yeah i think that uh, for me it's the arms and stuff like get, i don't think you think you need them just just make the fuselage come out and just do the face on the front like that. I think that would be fire. But I, I do that. I like it. I like the hat color. I like the choices. So good job, Jay. That, that's really my only critique. But other than that, I think he did a bang up job. And we'll move on to the next one. We have the Stogies mm -hmm. by uh, Halal Studio. So we got a clinker and a. Uh, design collective up here mm -hmm. so what do, we'll go with tj this time first what do you think of this one man um 
actually like the colors. Um, yeah, I, I personally, I, I don't know if I could pull off wearing that color hat, but I think it's cool. Um, it's different. And I actually kind of like the under visor, the color there. Um, I like how the, I like how the actual cigar is handled. The smoke is what's hurting it because yeah. the smoke, it's not smoky enough in that with smoke, you're not going to need that heavy outline. It's got two outlines on there. Mm-hmm. And I would probably say you probably should use negative space in here, Jason, negative space. Am, am I right? All right? I mean, I'm in love already. Um, <laughs> I think, and, and I think if you're going to do that shape, you got to nail it as an S because you yeah. got stogies. If you just turn it a little bit and do that and just, I, I mean, that's my opinion, but I th- I like it, but I just, I, it's going to need those changes, I think, to get it over the top, in my opinion. So Yeah. So uh, you want the little thinker or the hard? I'm going to do the thinker face, I, I, I guess. Yeah. How about you, uh, Leon? What do you think? Yeah, I'm with TJ here. Um, the it, it's almost it's almost an <laughs> S, but it's not quite. The smoke is is solid. It's almost like a filigree. Um, I guess just soften out the the smoke and kind of uh, yeah, maybe like I was kind of thinking like while everyone was talking, maybe I don't I don't know maybe a hold, some type of holder, maybe an ashtray. I, I don't know what it needs, but it just kind of the the shape is not quite there. Yeah, um, <clears throat> but it is. The cigars is nice. The cigars done real well. But I don't know if that's like enough for a hat, you know? Yeah, I agree with that. Um, Jason. All right. So um, I think what's throwing us all off is that it's named Stogies, but obviously the smoke is in the shape of a C for cigars. Um, uh, so if he would have just named it differently, I think it would probably work a lot better. I agree with TJ though. The uh, the gold outline is probably a little unnecessary, um, and I do like he, he put the little clink room logo on the on the um, cigar uh, labels oh, uh, wrapper. Just, all right. Yeah, that's um, a cool touch. Yeah, I think basically the only the only critique I have is is the name isn't matching up with the logo. Um, so if he changes the name. Or if he wants to stick with stogies, make that uh, smoke shape into more of an S. Um, I think. It, I would I say think do that Cubanos then. Call it the Cubanos. You know. What that, I mean? Yeah. There you go. Something like that. Or the Cubans. Um, you know. Yep. That makes sense. Yeah. yeah. I had to. I had to put a little heart between uh, <laughs> TJ yeah, yeah. and uh, Leon there. So I'm gonna give it the thinker too. I do love the hat color though. Oh yeah, yeah hat yeah. colors fire. Like I haven't seen that combo and seen it, mm-hmm. and I'm like. Oh man, that's a great combo. Is that so a is that a gold? Combo. Is that a gold bottom or is that like tan? I think it's a tan. Okay, it's like a tan. Yeah, yeah. I, great yeah, color I, choice. I, great color choice for sure. And just change the name. Other than that, and I would lose some of those wisps in the in the smoke. Yeah. And just do that in embroidery, right? Oh, let that'd them, be cool. Let them do that in embroidery. You know, you don't need these little black like wisp things. Yeah. That's- Great, great artwork though. I just think the name and the the shape of the logo are, are confusing. Yeah, if it was called the Cubans, then we would have known yeah. for sure who it is. Mm-hmm. All right, <laughs> our favorite Phil Hauser, man. <laughs> the shot collars. <laughs> uh, this is definitely um, a good hat. All right, let's see. Let's go with Leon. What do you think, man? Yeah, I like this one. Um... My brothers went to Mexico a couple of years ago and they brought me back some tequila with uh, uh, the warm inside. And I've not been man enough to try to eat that thing yet. So, uh, um, yeah, but it's fun, you know, um, tequila warm. He's calling people to take shots or, you know, the Babe Ruth shot call. I don't know. There's a lot about it. It's fun. It's different. Um, it's got that like uh that Seahawks kind of colorway. I feel like that colorway has been kind of played out a little bit, but you know, other than that, um, he did a great job. I like this one. All right. What emoji do you want? Uh, give him the fire. Yeah. How about you, TJ? What do you think? Um, yeah, this one's, this one's clever. The shot, calling the shot. I, it, it's well done. Um, I think the colors are good too. Um, I wish almost that, if I'm going to nitpick something, 
um, the bat is close to the hat. Right. And it's like structurally, like either I almost wish that the bat had some like wood lines on it, if you know what oh, I mean? Oh, there you go. Mm -hmm. um, just to kind of push it back further from that. Um, mm -hmm. But I think it's good. He's, he's got a good expression going. I love the glass. I always, for mm -hmm. some reason, love glass, like cool glass embroidered. Like that to me is like optical illusion. I just think that that's so cool. I like, I like how that goes. The either maybe is the sombrero, if it was, if I don't want to say a different color, but I'm just trying to think how I could move it away from the bat further. But I think you're saying, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I, I don't know, but I like this. I think this is very clink ish, no doubt oh, yeah. about it. It's a clink hat. So I'm going to go with the fire. Yeah. All right. How about you, Jason? Uh, give this thing fire all day long. Um, yeah. That's how you're going to feel after uh, drinking some of these. But uh, I, yeah, I, I mean, one little nitpick, and I agree with TJ. If he just leans the worm forward a little bit, maybe um, to, to separate the hat and the bat. Um, we, we heard uh, during clink vision, Casey talk about that all the time, sep you know, separating elements just to give them a little more space. But other than that, dude, this feels like, you know, some minor league theme night hat. Um, this is yeah. right up Brandios Alley. I love to play on words. Uh, this thing's fantastic. Yeah, I'm going to give it fire too. Um, Phil such, is such a great guy and he's come a long way just from you thinking mm -hmm. the noise of summer and all that stuff and and now here, uh, a couple of things I agree with you guys, maybe extend the bat out uh, around the hat here too, like just on this little edge here, oh, yeah. maybe clean that up, uh, maybe extend the worm a little bit more into the, in there. But other than that, dude, still killed it. Like great. Th and this is what I mean. Like sometimes we had one last week, serial killers, right? You're trying to have a play on words and mm -hmm. the, the design. This is a good example of how you do that shot mm -hmm. and collars you know what i mean shot glass worm tequila all that stuff so great job all right our next one the power of the pencil so i don't yan Illy, i think it is i don't know if we've had him on yeah yeah M michael, no, clark. Okay. michael clark yeah okay all right so uh let's see let's start with uh jason what do you think of this one um Cool. Uh, I um, do not like the, the tonal under visor. I need to change that up a bit. Um, and I would make the pencil bigger. Um, I think yeah. it's the power of the pencil. Um, I, I, I think it just needs to draw more attention to it. And I think making it maybe a little thicker and a little bit longer would do that a little bit better. Yeah. All right. So what emoji you want on that one? Uh, give us some hearts. All right. How about you, TJ? What do you think? Um, I think that green needs to be way more green. Um, the outline there. If you're gonna do it, it's it, that's too forest. You need like a lighter green to, because as it is, it's kind of melding with the black outline. So if yeah. you're gonna use it, I think you gotta go with that. Maybe he was trying to go with like the number two green, you know, like how sometimes they have that green paint on there, but that was a lighter green on those pencils. I, I, I don't mean even the pencil. I mean, around the edge of the yeah. entire okay. logo. Yeah, um, I agree with that. Yeah, I mean, as, as a rendering, it's rendered the way, you know, very well. You can't really say anything negative about that. Um, I would just change the color. Um, it's a deep red hat. So a darker green like that is not going to, it's not going to pop, you know, you right. want that to pop. So I, I would say just make that change. Um, I'm going to give it a thinking emoji. Okay. Yeah. A little bit more thought, maybe the color. Yeah. See, to me, this, you know, uh, this is missing a couple elements. Like if you're going to use the pencil, uh, maybe the the yellow or the pink, that should be the under of the hat. You know what I mean? Like put elements of the color of the pencil mm -hmm. into the hat itself. Um, 
I mean, I get it because I mean, wanting to go with, I mean, Pan-African colors being yep. red, yellow, green. So I, I get all that. I, again, I agree with the undervisor. I think nowadays everybody wants undervisors that, uh, you know, jump out. Um, Even I, a green undervisor. It, yeah, I, I mean, my well, biggest issue is just the the tonal, the top and the bottom being the same. Right. How about you, Leon? I like this one. It's 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 you know illustrated, you know, nice. The message behind it's cool. I kind of worry if if maybe possibly I'm not sure. You know, maybe you have to consult a lawyer or whatever. But like, is it too close to the BLM logo? Is that trademarked? Will, will it pass through? That that I'm not sure, um, but I like it. Um, and I'm with you guys. I think there's a scaling issue with the pencil. You know, um, you take the pencil away. I don't think that gets approved. You know, I don't know. It's that that that's a tough thing with with this yeah. kind of stuff. It, it's rendered well, like TJ said. Um, to me, it looks like they might have skewed it, like scaled it outward too much on the hand to give it like a bigger you know look um but that just could just be me colors and everything but it's a good design like a couple tweaks and do that bigger pencil you know really emphasize that pencil i agree with you jason the power and uh michael good job man good job we'll see what how they, it does on the voting tomorrow all right J-Dub is Don's. <laughs> we got Clinker Justin here, little buds. So let's start with uh, Leon. What do you think of this one? I think it's fun. It looks like a sticker. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's okay. it's kind of minimalist. Um, that's kind of interesting. Um, you know, it, it's not like an overly complex logo, but it looks it looks fun. It's you know, it's kind of interesting. But um, we'll see how it does in the voting. I don't know if this will pass through. But, you know, you, you see companies do, like, really simple logos all the time that do really well. Like, Chinatown Market comes to mind. There's just a smiley face. And Do you see you see them put it everywhere. Yeah. Toki Doki does really good. This When I first saw this, I thought Toki Doki. And I was like, oh, that's kind of cool. Yeah. Um, me and uh, I think it was uh, uh, Hat Junkie were having that conversation about simplistic designs, right? Yeah. But this one is simplistic. But when you think about it being rendered or when it's embroidered, you can have a lot of fun with the layers on this. Yeah, yeah. It's gonna embroider really well. What do you think, TJ? Uh, listen, this wins the prize for cutest. No <laughs> question about it. Um, this, again, that's a good point. Uh, looks like a sticker. It does look like a sticker, like someone just pasted it right on that. Um, and there's something like, there's something charming about that. I, I don't mm. really know what it is. now. If it was winking, mm. or if it had a mischievous face, just a little tweak, so it's not just a happy flower. Now the question is, are there gonna be enough people voting for a happy flower, like you said? So if you, you know, in clink tradition, if you just twist something a little bit, then it becomes something more. So mm -hmm. I almost think if it wasn't like a mischievous face or have, or, or even a wink, like a winking flower, like just one little thing might put it over the top and make people be like, oh, I like that. Like even that much more than they might now. But I will give it a heart. I will give it a heart because I think that it's, it's got some kind of indescribable charm to it. Yeah. Jason, what about you? Um, yeah, I, I like the artwork and I like the idea of just doing a simple, simple logo. Um, to me, the issue is just the, the subject matter. Like, I don't know if this will do well at the clink, in, in the clink room. Um, I just, I, but yeah, like TJ said, it's just, it's just a smiling flower. Um, I, I, I would do something else to, to make it stand out a little bit more. I don't know what that is. Uh, I'm not an artist, but I, I just don't think this by itself is enough to, to get through to, yeah. So I give it a thinking but, uh, face. I do like the artwork. I like the minimalist design. Um, I just, I don't think a flower, a smiling flower is gonna, gonna do well. 
Yeah, I kind of think I kind of agree with um, TJ there. You know, you think back to Mario. You remember like the original Mario, like it would have the sun, but it would be super simple. But it had that kind of like mischievous, you know, shark teeth, something, right? We, something we've all that, lost. We've all lost many a life from the angry sun. We, we, from the angry we, sun. We've right? all been it's, there. So. It's angry at us right now too here in California. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Like we're in Mario all over again. So maybe maybe he does that. Maybe he gives it like the boo face or something. You know. It does need some sort of little bit of something to it. You know, roses can be thorny, right? Yeah. So there you go. Maybe a little something like that. But I do like it. I just mm -hmm. think it's just lacking, like you guys said, that that one thing to really kind of make it pop. So good job, Justin. Let's go to our next one. A little review here. <laughs> ah, all right. Kill a fellow. Uh, let's see. Let's go with uh, Jason on this one. Okay. Um, I like the use of negative space, obviously. Uh, there's just something. I don't know what's going on with the mouth, uh, especially in the upper right portion of it. It's like, is, is the jaw cut open or? Almost like a tattoo style. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's just, just it's just the it's just the red outlining. No, it's just like how the like right here. Yeah, like it just goes mm -hmm. on past his teeth and stuff. I I just it don't know. Probably, what... This line should probably carry through, and this line should probably carry under. Yeah, but I, good I, catch, I, man. That's that's really good. Um, but yeah, it, interesting. I would probably uh, maybe change the uh, the proportions. It's a, it's a little vertical, maybe maybe widen it out. Um, just give the snake a little different shape to to use the canvas a little bit better. Um, color choices are a little strange. Um, yeah. uh, you got a black, red, and, and yellow snake on a sky blue, tan, and, and black hat. Um, I would definitely go back to the drawing board on, on what those with those colors a little bit. All right, all right. How and so would you want the thinking emoji? Yeah, I think so. So remember the first one uh, Jake gave us was the surfboard and kind of stuff. So I don't remember. Like a, no, it was uh, <laughs> Sorry. it was the it was a Hawaiian warrior mask with the surfboards oh. crossed. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah and the the floral the custom print. under. Yeah, 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 yeah. The custom okay. From over, yeah. Yeah. So this no, is the second one. So he's definitely stepped it up. Oh, yes, he has oh, for sure. All right, how about you, Leon? What do you think? This one's tough. Um, I think this is like the second time someone tried to tackle a, a, a coral snake. Right, the first one was like an albino version. I think it was like milk snakes, the two-headed one. Um, this one, yeah, I'm with you, Jason, on that. Like, you got the the coral colors, and then you got like a totally random um, hat. Right, it doesn't almost. Uh, they don't. Feels like two different pieces to to a puzzle yeah. um coral snakes and, and then the head does they don't really look like that so e either um I, I would almost say it's almost three hats <laughs> like <laughs> if, if you wanted to do uh just the head the head looks real cool you know maybe make a, a hat of just the head there um you know really exaggerated a uh, super long tongue like that's almost like a tattoo style like an, almost like a like an asian snake almost um that's kind of cool if you want to do a coral snake hat that's cool too um, yeah. do that and then um the the color of the hat's really fresh i just feel like it doesn't it just doesn't match your subject matter in any way uh, he's yeah, got a little could. bit of negative space in there too playing around mm -hmm. i was gonna say you could um if he changed the the yellow band in in the the snake to that gold it kind of would work you know mm -hmm. what i mean do like a gold kind of thing um but yeah you're right so if you're talking about anatomy, of course, of the snake, like Leon, you know, he's our animal expert. Mm -hmm. Coral snakes do not have the diamond head mm -hmm. of, of a poisonous snake. They have the more of the straight uh, head. So you wouldn't really get that kind of action from that snake. Yeah. And the only way- They are really poisonous though, right? Yeah, the, the only yeah. way you can tell between a coral snake and a California king snake, because the California king snake has the same coloring, is the red and yellow so the, the kind of the rhyme red and yellow kill a fellow 
So when the red and yellow bands touch, get away from that snake because that is a that is a deadly coral snake. Okay. All right. So he did he did do that well. I, you know, I think it's a cool design. I think he's really stepped up his game and um, mm -hmm. a couple tweaks to the color. Maybe maybe he could even lose this part and just kind of fill that in and make it more smooth. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Instead of the kind of the arrowhead poisonous snake. So um, I, I think he did a good job. Uh, Leon, what which one did you want? The thinker? Yeah, I'm going with the thinker. Okay. All right, TJ, you're up. Listen, man, I, I like this one. Um, as as uh, it was mentioned, it, it it's kind of reminiscent of like a Yakuza tattoo. You know, mm -hmm. something you would see in that. And I, I like this. Now, mind you, I'm not an expert on colors. I, I don't really understand the tan uh, visor. I think um, it's gold, yeah. Okay, I, I either make it one of the colors that's in the snake or, I mean, in my opinion, go with that. Um, mm. The only thing that kind of, I love how the face is handled. I like that because it is similar to a tattoo type thing. We've seen other snake, we've seen tons of snake logos. At least this is different. It's tackling it in a different yep. way. Yep. The only thing that confuses me is I, I like how we have a break in the line when the snake is, when this when the tail is coming behind the snake and then when it's coming down and through the bottom. I don't understand that break there, that yeah. one that's the circling. That doesn't make any- I that, think it's sort of a little twisting of the snake maybe. Well then, but that's just confusing it more. Yeah. I think you gotta get rid of that because you've already got the lines in there, the yellow, the, the black and the yeah. red, and then you just cut it for no real reason. So yeah. I would say go get away from that. I would move the head a little further away so it's not touching the body at all. Right. Um, and like John pointed out, there's a red outline around part of the head. I want to say like you either have to put that red outline throughout or don't use it. I would just say stick with the black and then use the red to define what's going on inside the face, but not around that part of the face. Yeah. I don't know. Well, you know, I like you know, how it, you know how it goes, TJ. Like when you go from drawing like a line art and stuff like that, you're so used to having outlines. I know. But it. then when you go to something embroidered, you're like, oh, I don't need an outline. Yeah. So like this is a second go at it. So he's doing a like this is huge. Yeah, big improvements for sure. Huge improvements. I definitely so. like this. I definitely will give it hard yeah. eyes. I definitely will. Yeah, Jake, keep it up, man. Like, and Jake's mm -hmm. been hitting me up too, like get, picking my brain and stuff like that. So. Um, I like the colorway uh, tie in, like, even if you use like a yellow on the under, you know, or something like tie it in a little bit more. Um, but yeah, I mean, huge, huge improvement. So keep it up, Jake. All right. So we got the grays from Raphael. Um, looks like it's a kind of a wolf rendition. So uh, let's go with uh, Leon. What do you think? This one's interesting. Um, it looks cool. It's kind of almost got like a natural type feel where it's like built with like little polygons or like little shapes. Um, something about it is just maybe not round enough or or he's maybe half-assing the, the ground. I don't know what it is, but um, it's a fun logo. It looks cool. Um, but I don't know, something a little off about it. I'll give you the thinker. How about yeah. you, TJ? I'm going to also go with the thinker. Um, I think as far as wolves go, we've almost got a wolf bear type thing going on, mm -hmm, like mm -hmm. just because of the proportions. I think if you were going to use the wolf, it's there's something with the ears. Um, if it's growling, I get it. The wolf's ears kind of go down. Um, but either the top of the head needs to be a little less broad and maybe the neck needs to be pulled in because um, it's just the face is looking a little too wide in that area. Um, but I, you know, as far as it goes, it's, it's, you know, a clean rendering. I just mm -hmm. think that the shape is a little, little bit off and um, you know, it, it doesn't have any other second element to it um, to kind of set it apart from, you know, a wolf head. Uh, but it's well rendered, but um, keep cracking at it, and uh, I think it'll get to where he wants it to be. 
Yeah. Thank you. How about you? Uh, uh, let's see, Mr. Hat Crawler. Uh, yeah, no, uh, the rendering is good. Uh, he's actually, uh, he's doing a great job of, of making a design for a hat. Um, but I agree with you guys. I'm confused. Is this a bear or is it a wolf? Um, and I think it's that, for lack of a better word, the double chin. Um, it's like he pulled in part of the neck or, or something. Yeah, below those black lines that come into the, towards the mouth. Yeah. If he lost everything below that and defined the, the bottom jaw a little bit more, I think he'd have a winner here. Um, but uh, yeah, other than that, I mean, I, yeah, he's doing a great job of, of designing for a hat. Um, colors are a nice choice. Uh, just think, yeah, like everybody was saying, the proportions of the, the head are just throwing it off. It, maybe he's trying to go for a wolf bear cross, um, but it, it, it doesn't. Listen, that would be a fearsome animal. Not it would. Be, I would not. I would not <laughs> sit around with something like that. No. Yeah. Right. Bear, the bear um, wolf would be uh, something you don't want to mess with. No. Right. Yeah, and I, I agree with all you guys. Like, and you know, when they do growl, they kind of put their ears back, but this is kind of down. Mm -hmm. And wolves have kind of like a, a bigger mane. Yeah. When it comes here, you know, they're more triangular shape. Um. Yeah. So I think it just the, this the shape outside. I think the face has done really well. Yeah, I think all the inside, like this, is all going to enjoy it really good. It's more or less the shape on the outside that really is going to render it bear or wolf. You know, so, he's also yeah. going against like, uh, like when you use the Minnesota Timberwolves colorway, you go against every single one of their logos. Yeah. So like, are you? standing out against them are you doing anything different you know i, I know are you even like beating what what is currently available you know, the, the hat that's, color that's the on this one, one is great too i like yeah, the I hat like color the, i sure. like the hat color great great choices and um i have been noticing that the clinkers have been doing a better job on the hat choice colors so mm -hmm. um and this is uh, no no difference here but just a little rendering but rafael will knock it out man he, mm -hmm. he does a good job and just keep it up rafael all right, we got Mr. Bowles here. Mr. Bowles is uh, constantly putting in some uh, mm -hmm. designs. And we got Dungeons and Dingers. Dungeons and Dingers. Uh, this one's an interesting one. So let's go ahead and go to Leon, since you were last. You go first this time, my brother. Yeah, so it's kind of like a octopus alien thing, sports guy. I'm trying to figure it out here as, as I'm looking at it. Um, <laughs> almost looks like he has an olive in one of them, in his, one of his hands. Right. And half of them are broken stuff. The other half is not broken stuff. I don't know. It's fun. It's cool. It's different. Um, I just don't really I get it, I guess. Um, but it is it is a cool-looking logo. Um, I think the, the arm length, maybe, play around with it, maybe make some arms – shorter or longer than others to kind of give it the thing but i don't know why like one side's broken and the other side's not we're just trying to figure out the rhyme or reason yeah uh, what do you want on this one the hearts yeah give them the heart <clears throat> i think the the head is is done nice oh, i just geez, need to figure out right here yeah i just need to figure right out here. what the heck Amazing. is going on with the other stuff maybe it's a posture thing or yeah the head, is the head is rendered so well yeah, you look yeah. at that like yeah. just right there i would just get rid of the other stuff yeah well the what's weird too is the black and the brown so you got a black crown yeah and then you got oh brown is that two different colors brown. i didn't yeah. even notice that okay. yeah that's a little bit odd choice for me but i would just do it either brown i think the brown would look great just do it brown with the red mm -hmm. under i think that'd be fire black, black would work great too or yeah. black yeah yeah what do you think uh tj um, listen, like you said, the, the face is fantastic. What, it, what from Force Awakens, all right? What was those crazy oh, things? Yeah. Remember those things in the ship that um, yeah. Han I can't remember what they were called, but yeah. Yeah, but that's what it makes me think of. Um, I like the eye, the eye is fantastic. Yeah. The, the tongue sticking out, the teeth. Um, I'm with you guys. Like, there's a lot to look at here. There's a mm -hmm. lot to look at. So, I mean... 
I almost want to say if he had half the amount of arms and just have him one with a basketball, one with a bat, one with a football, that and one with the hockey stick, it might be less, um, just just less than just a process. But I, I like it. I'm going to give it the hard eyes because it's definitely clink. Um, there's, it's got that feel to it. I would just, I don't think you need that many arms. I just think, yeah. um, you could simplify it that way. I'm assuming that I was having a hard time with what was next to the football. Um, yeah, it's an olive. That's an olive. Less, I like <laughs> no. olives, but, um, it looks like a bowling ball, maybe, or it's, it might be a cross. It might be a football. I think it's, it's a football. football. It's, it's a football, 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 but looking football. forward. Yeah. Uh, it's, right. It is a football, but it's like a weird. Yeah, you got to scratch that, Josh. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I would just say, like, it's it's rendered like a champ. Um, yeah. But, so uh, you know, hard eyes. All right. Let's see. How about you, uh, there, uh, hat, Mr. Hat Crawler? <laughs> uh, Josh. Fantastic job on the artwork. This thing is crazy, rendered really, really well. That eye with that the red lines in there is going to embroider fantastically. Um, with the Dungeons and Dingers, uh, it sounds like he's trying to combine Dungeons and Dragons and sports. And, you know, sometimes I don't think we need to force sports into these designs. Mm -hmm. I think if he just did this, this monster with Maybe crazy tentacles like or just nothing. Uh, yeah. Just just play around with the tentacles and the shapes of it and, and keep the sports references out of it. Sometimes you don't need it. Um, yeah. I, that's my opinion. Obviously, it's my opinion means about a hill of beans here. But um, <laughs> I love the artwork. Uh, that's going on the tongue and the eye and everything is going to embroider really well. Um, I just I don't think it needs the sports stuff in it. Yeah. Josh, my man, like this is killer, bro. Mm -hmm. um, what I would do is lose these four arms. Yeah. There I would go. blow up the head more because the head is just so good. Yeah. Like the mouth, the eyes, the little horns on top, like those little details need to be like brought out. Mm -hmm. And then if you wanted to, like Jason, maybe make a, these four tentacles out, but extend them out so it's more horizontal. Mm -hmm. But just accentuate that head, man. That's if you did that, that's that's game over. Like that hat, and then just work on the colors. Like either make it black or make it red. Um, black if you're brown. gonna do a two tone, if you're gonna do a two tone hat, you want it to contrast each other. Yeah, you don't want it to. It blends too much because, like, it, just looking at it, if you don't look close enough, it looks like it's a black hat. Right. So yeah, dark, you, dark brown and black. Do not go together. Yeah. If this was a tan. Or yeah. or a tan crown and a black visor. Yeah. There you go. I, I, I don't know if the tan crown would work well with that red, but um, yeah. Dark brown but and yeah. black. This is killer, dude. I love it. Yes. I really yes. do. Um, mm -hmm. But just like Jason said, you don't need to combine all the sports. It, it doesn't need it doesn't need that. Like, it's so good. Like, the tongue that if you if everything else is three quarter and that's full embroider man it just th think about things like that but killer job bro killer job all right we got anthony atb3 and we have broad street bullies this one's kind of cool it's kind of got that uh hand sketch rendering feel to it um let's go with jason what do you think man uh yeah, I like this one. I like the artwork for sure. Um, I mean, I don't forget like the gray under with the light blue crown. Is that light, light blue? It looks like it, man. Oh, I'm my 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 screen's way off. Man. Uh, yeah, uh, the visor and the under visor need to contrast more. Uh, they're way too close together. Um, actually, I think this would probably embroider pretty pretty good. Yeah. Uh, he doesn't have, he might have to clean up just some of the details just a little bit or, or use em, embroidery for some of like those scratch marks and stuff. Um, but yeah, this, this is a cool design. I'll give you the high, uh, hearts, right? Yeah. All right. Cool. All right. How about you, TJ? What do you think, man? I see um, you studying it. <laughs> yeah. Like, cause I'm trying to get in close. Cause 
Now you're saying that that visor color is what? It looks like it's a, like a very very pale blue. All right, because I think I need to change my settings too. Yeah, I think it's um, gray. So so yeah. looking, but looking. So if you look in the design, you see yeah. how it has like the darker shadowing. Yeah, it's that same blue. Okay. Is it blue? It looks yeah, kind of gray. It's like a pale, it looks like a gray pale to blue. me. All right. Yeah. Well, I, 4, I would say I have a 4K monitor. <laughs> there you go. Um, I think it's tall. Yes. So that's my only concern there because, you know, long time ago, my friend Casey, all of our friend Casey says, tall's not as good as, you know, uh, more evenly distributed. So I would say that's a concern. Um, but, and there's a lot of fine details, like the teeth cracked and stuff. It's cool. It look it lends to a, a really cool hand-drawn feel to it and that's the appeal to this type of logo it's a hand-drawn type mm -hmm. uh, feel I, I don't know how well that would do in embroidery with those really fine lines but i do like that he's missing teeth i like that they're cracked you know the kind of uh down and dirty type thing and for and i actually really like the way the eyes are handled mm -hmm. just those pinpoint it's it's very creepy it, end, it lends a creepy feel to it. So I would say I'm going to go with the heart. Um, I just think that he's going to have to, the proportions are going to have to be adjusted a little bit and take a little bit of those extra excess lines. I think he's got it. Yeah, a lot of these lines will be taken out. You know, like yeah. you don't need all those lines and these cracks. They're just going to be white pieces, you know. Right. Mm -hmm. That's how they'll embroider. What do you think, uh, Leon? I like this one. Um, I think that that kind of like that bluish gray he used, maybe it's to symbolize the ice. Um, mm -hmm. Rod Street Bullies, <clears throat> uh, throwback to uh, Philadelphia Flyers, I guess. Um, going mask, certain, um, really, really um, iconic. I think he's like going for like that Bernie Parent type uh, goalie mask, almost like a Jason goalie mask. Um, but yeah, uh, he. I think the teeth, are a little bit much. Um, it, it, it is funny, you know, they're broken because, you know, Bobby Clark had the, the, you know, missing front teeth and all that stuff. So that maybe that's a play on that. But um, yeah, I like it. Um, I don't know if I would do the, because if you're going to call it this and then do it with the Flyers, colors, you probably will never get approved anyway. But uh, sure. just, just some small details you got to, you got to iron out to make sure it embroiders nice. Yeah. But yeah, I'll yeah. go guys. Yeah, I'm with the guys. Like it look, it's a it's a really cool. Love the hand drawn feel to it. Um, I'm not sure if it, if the voting does well, Casey will go in and kind of clean that a lot of those little lines up. But love the love the pin pin eyes, man. That's just so cool. You know what I mean? Um, it's just eerie and cool. So give this one a thumbs up too. And uh, you know, we'll see. We'll see how the voting goes tomorrow. It'll be interesting to see if this one makes it through. All right, our last one, the by Clinker Nate. We got the Bluefin Brawlers. All right, so let's go with uh, TG on this one. What do you think, man? Listen, as a fan of sushi and tuna and all that stuff, I gotta give a fire to this one. This one is 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 really cool. I like that it doesn't have boxing gloves. We're going with. Jean-Claude Van Damme kickboxer wrap um, uh, hand wraps. That's that's pretty cool. The arms are are done well. Listen, Tuna need to fight back. Listen, we're, we're after them. We, we love them. So it's only right that uh, he's fighting back. So I do like this one. This one's clean and straightforward. It's cool. the, um, yeah, uh, very cool. Thank you, man. How about you, uh, Jason? Uh, yeah, Jason? this one. You do? What yeah. am I going to say? You don't like the tonal uh, under. <laughs> yeah, that, that needs that needs to go. In fact, I would use that that lavender. Yeah, that's that in go. in the in the tuna. Put that as the under. Um, that yeah. That aside, uh, logo's fantastic. Uh, I love how he uh, shaped the tuna, so it's like bent over himself just to take out that uh, that landscape um, type shape, um, so it's not too tall. Um, yeah, and it's rendered really well. That, that's going to embroider well. Um, yeah, good job. 
Good job, Nate. Give me give it, give it hard eyes for sure. All right. How about you, Leon? I like it. It's cool. Um, but if we're being picky, I mean, look, I'm gonna uh, tear apart the anatomy of a tuna with 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 hands uh, ready for a, a, a bare knuckle brawl, right? But uh, the fins are accurate. Um, but the head is 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 what uh, is throwing me off a little bit. That's the tunas don't look like that. That's almost like a trout, right? Um, but all in all, it's cool. Um, the the posture is kind of unnatural. Like you wouldn't really see a fish do that, but you know, it is what I, I like. Like I said, you know, I'm, I'm tearing apart a fictional thing, right? But when you base it on something that's real and doesn't look like what it's supposed to look like, then it, it kind of throws off your design. That's all. Um, the yeah. fins are accurate. It's just the head's not. That's all. Yeah. So, um, thank you for me. I'll give you the hard eyes too. Yeah, I like it too. Um, yeah, the blue fin, they have more of a pointed nose. You know, they're more of a pointed fish. Um, this this guy's been in so many fights that his nose has been oh, yeah, it's probably hunted busted. down. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that'd be kind of cool if he could put like a band-aid over his nose. <laughs> yeah. You know, a little detail, like he's been yeah. he's been through it. But yeah, I, I like this one, man. I, I, I really do. I think this is good. I, I think, again, like you said, Jason, let's throw like the lavender or whatever, the lighter blue underneath yeah. there mm -hmm. uh, and uh you got a good you got a good design there man like it's 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 really good so good job and good job all the clinkers so we'll kind of zoom out here and take a look so we got uh looks like this week uh shot collars man yeah shot Dude, that's collars so, just... so that's like so brandios it's yeah, it not is. even funny so we got we'll say that one and then the uh warthog Mm -hmm. behind that that's very clinkish too mm -hmm. and then uh these uh these last two here mm -hmm. balls these last three actually balls um man i i hope i hope this gets through and i hope they kind of do that because that would be killer broad street love to see what casey did that with that and then blue friend baller so overall on all, all this week a good week clinkers mm -hmm. keep it up hat colors again Good choices on all those so i i, I think I, I was just gonna say i think peter's is that peter hello yeah Which peter. One? yeah um Still i think if he changes the name or changes the shape of that that one's gonna be fantastic the yeah, colors but, on that thing are so good um i was thrown off because i was looking for an s i was like right okay well, I, I think if, if he just changes the name of it mm. Yeah, because so this is really a cool little detail here. Yeah. And yeah. then just get rid of these little things and let that let the rendering of the embroidery mm. yeah. have those wisp or things in there. Uh, I think I think you're right. Call it the Cubanos, call it the, the Cubans or whatever you want to do. Right. And uh, that one will be good. But yeah, Let's, all in all, a good week. I, I got to say, though, the hardest, the hardest thing for me personally when I'm doing something to submit is colors man i i, I get mm -hmm. i've been watching the show and you know you guys have been shouting out people because they're doing good colors you guys are professional hat buyers okay <laughs> i'm not a professional hat buyer i wish i could be a professional hat buyer well somebody pay me to buy hats that'd be awesome man <laughs> so, <laughs> right. for, i'm for down me, for that <laughs> for me like I, i'm doing something i'm someone who's at home with pencil and paper <laughs> mm -hmm. so for me the worst part of the design process is picking colors. I hate it. So I give all these people credit for trying to go outside the box and do something. Cause I'm oftentimes just too timid to I'm like, no one's going to want a hat that color. No one's going to want. And then people buy hats that color. So I just, for me, that's the hardest part. I give, mm. give credit to all dudes out here trying to do something different and mm -hmm. find a cool hat color that's going to work for their mark. Mm -hmm. um, that's tough that's tough man. i would say do your research you know all those clinkers like look out look at the hat clubs and the my fitteds and um you know all these all these the toppers and look at what colors they're putting out and um and kind of base it off that like be adventurous like it's okay to drop a pink hat see what happens you know mm -hmm. what i mean drop you know look at look at the kanye the ox pack that just came out it was like pink hat or purple hat 
ultra like a red under orange had a lot of orange, orange. In it. so mm -hmm. be adventurous you know uh my fitness is a good example of that um mm -hmm. look at look at what uh what was it crown minded just put out the california pack that was great mm -hmm. really Silver, good colors yeah. never thought that would work and it did so yep. you know do your Smart. research and and stuff like that and See, just it, go ahead jason yeah, I was just gonna say, TJ, you know a few professional hat buyers too that you could always just ask. Yeah, oh, that's, listen, true. that's <laughs> the point, man, because it's the least, it's my least favorite part of the whole process. Oh, yeah, yeah. It, you, where I get hung up and it's just like, oh. You throw me, wow. you throw any one of us a logo and we could probably. Listen, I might have colors. to take you up on I might have to take you all up on <laughs> yeah. it. It's vexing. That's, that's right. that, you know, I, I was kind of the same way, TJ. I was like, man. I would literally have four or five hat colors yeah. and I started putting them to vote. And, you know, I was like, you know what? I'm just going to, I'm just going to look at what's hot and what people are buying. And that's what I'm going to put up mm -hmm. because ultimately that's, that's the name. People want colors. They want choices. I mean, they do. The question is, as we all know, the voting process lends so much into it. So honestly, if you're, if you're voting for a hat, are you going to vote for the color of the hat or are you going to vote for the lo for the design? Because logo first. Logo first. Logo first, and then, always. And, and then the color. Well, it's always the logo first, and then the color can only detract from the logo, in my opinion. Yeah. yeah. But, I mean, and colors get changed all the time. Right. right. So more, more often than the logo, I feel like. I right. mean, all you really can do is say, look, this is my idea. Mm -hmm. Casey going to figure it out. That's that's really yeah. all you can really say and be like they'll they'll choose the colors that they think are going to work. Yep. Hopefully that will get you through the voting process, really. And then the chips fall where they fall, and you just got to go with that. But, A good yeah. example of that is uh, the the pirates I did for my fitteds. Like mm -hmm. I had no idea that was the color he did none, and that wasn't even the color I was thinking in my mind. I was thinking more of like, oh, it'd be kind of dope to do the uh, pewter and red. You know what I mean? Yeah. or tampa bay like that's those are really good colors and he comes with that thing oh my gosh and it blew my mind it was so good so i think with your art tj it's so good that i don't think yeah. it matters what you put what color combination you do bro it's it's like, still bothers it, it, it doesn't matter it doesn't matter leon he's gonna buy every single design so it doesn't <laughs> yeah that's right he <laughs> knows he knows he knows about the he, he he's on yeah. the cream of mushroom suit he knows that yeah, he knows yeah. what's right. real real recognizes real that's what they say <laughs> all right that's all right well fellas it was a good week hey tj i appreciate you so much man oh uh, man I, this was a good time man i appreciate you all having yeah, me we're gonna we're gonna have you on again i want to get you on I'll and, back. and uh, a couple clinkers on here and maybe uh in a couple weeks and we're gonna have some fun, man. Because it, I mean, to me, it sounds, it looks like Clink is starting to round out. You know, last few weeks, the ones we were picking, the ones that kind of look good, hat colors, they're making it through. So, um, Clinkers are doing a good job too, man. You, you're starting to see them post up different renditions. Oh, I'm gonna change this. Josh Bowles is really good about that. Even Phil, um, Jake has been doing it. So keep it up, guys. Like. Oh. Keep up the good work and definitely, uh, definitely, definitely a brotherhood, man. We've we've yeah. been built. I mean, I was I was so happy to see them come back. I mean, we would do this in 2009 and 10, way long mm. time ago, and just feeling so great that they were able to bring it back, see new people come in, new people doing stuff. Each person is pushing each other to do better give good advice whatever it's all love and it's been great yeah yeah well thanks again thanks jason for being on thanks leon for being there pierre couldn't be with us today he had a little thing happen at work so he's here and uh you know he's always part of us <laughs> yeah so big big fella why don't you take us out man yeah make sure you guys uh drop a like on the video subscribe to the channel make sure you're following tj on all social media platforms at 40 swords right That's um it. until next time guys stay fitted we out <laughs>